Hey guys, I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another video where today we are back with a Zombies Q&A. This series where I take your questions from the comment section below to do with the Zombies storyline, Easter eggs, and I answer them. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest content. But let's get into it. Here we go and enjoy. So, the first question of the day is from Many Max, and you say, If Ultimus Richtofen was killed in the Giant, how come in Alpha Omega he remembers getting killed? So, I'm not quite sure if he personally says that he can remember this event. The last time I listened to every single quote from that map was when it released. But, he does have this conversation between him and Ultimus Takio. I know it was a long time ago. Another world. But I saw your death. Do you remember such an event? Remember it? Of course I don't remember it! When you get shot in the face, memory loss is one of the most common side effects. Takio says to Richtofen, I know it was a long time ago, another world, but I saw your death. Do you remember it? And then Richtofen replies, of course I don't remember it. When you get shot in the face, memory loss is one of the most common side effects. So Richtofen clearly knows what he's talking about. Obviously he's on about the giant where Primus Richtofen walked out of the teleporter and shot his ultimate self in the face. But what's strange about this is it wasn't this version of Richtofen in Alpha Omega that experienced this. That should be pretty clear because he's alive. Which then brings up the question, well, if it didn't happen to him, it was another version, how does he know about it? And the same could actually be said for other characters. The other Ultimus versions of Takio, Dempsey and Nikolai seem to remember events that never happened to them. I do wonder how cathartic it could have been had you ever made it to Stalingrad. Stalingrad? I think I have been. I fought traitor Russian with my big armored tank. Machine. It's almost like there's some kind of common memory shared regardless of individual experience. A hive mind. You sound drunk, Richtofen. How many have had you? I mean, how many have you had? I'm sorry you are the way you are, Nikolai. I'm sorry he, me, us, I don't know, did all those terrible experiments on you. Answer me a question, my simple samurai friend. What do you really want? To bring honor to the Emperor and the Glorious Empire! <laughs> Ridiculous question! Is there not somewhere you really want to go, Takeo? Somewhere peaceful? Perhaps sitting under a beautiful cherry blossom tree? Cherry blossom? What do you know of Grandfather's tree? I don't think you've ever spoken of your grandfather, Takeo. Was he someone you looked up to? Looked up to? Yes! Looked down on. Also, yes. Well, I'm sure your grandfather and all your lovely ancestors will look down on you proudly. Whatever you may choose to do in life. We will not speak of this again, Richtofen. So the first thing we hear is Ultimus Nikolai talks about Stalingrad, yet he's never been there. It was a different version of himself. And even then, the events of Gorad Karovi haven't happened. Because we know Alpha Omega is a part of the Broken Cycle, when Blood of the Dead took place, that happened between Zetsubenoshima and Garad Karovi, meaning the two maps that took place after Zetsubenoshima, Garad and Revelations, don't happen because in between that, in Blood of the Dead, the cycle is broken, which is when the characters then travel to Groom Lake to collect Ultimus, and they then come to Nuketown. So, as part of this broken cycle, Garad Karovi never happens, yet somehow Ultimus Nikolai knows about it. And what's even worse is he says he's been there. But we know he hasn't. And then Richtofen goes on to explain what he thinks is going on. He says he believes there is some kind of hive mind, a common memory shared between each and every version of our characters. So no matter which version of Nikolai experienced certain events, no matter which version of him was in the mech suit in Gorod Karovi, it seems like all versions of them share the same memory, which explains why Ultimus Nikolai believes he was in the mech suit in Gorod when he wasn't. It's because he's sharing the same memory with the other version who was actually there. And it's the same for all of the versions of Takio, Dempsey and Richtofen, which could explain why Ultimus Richtofen believes it was him that got shot in the head because he is sharing a hive mind with his other version that was actually killed. The next question of the day says, Hey BOA, why does Richtofen and Blood of the Dead say that the sea will erase them from the universe? Well, here are the specific quotes that you're talking about. 
The water seems so calm. Such a shame that any attempt to cross it would delete us from existence. I'm tempted to let Nikolai try. I suppose this was put in there to explain why Primus couldn't just simply leave the island. A lot of people during this time would have been asking, instead of Richtofen killing himself, which was something he clearly didn't want to do, why didn't he just leave? And this answers that. He tells us that any attempt to cross the water would delete them from existence. Why exactly that's the case, I'm not too sure. Is it the same for every zombies map? Because we haven't seen our characters attempt to leave a location before. Maybe if they left Kino de Toten or the Pentagon, Zetsubin Oshima Revelations, if they would have tried to leave, would they have been wiped from existence in that instance as well? I'm not too sure. Or maybe Blood of the Dead is different because we have other aspects going on such as Purgatory and Afterlife. I wonder if it's the same for Mob of the Dead. If our mobsters tried to escape the island, would they have been wiped from existence as well? That's a strange one because we do actually see them escape using the plane. They just don't get very far. They crash into the Golden Gate Bridge and then return to the island. But that does at least tell us why Richtofen had to kill himself. There was no other way to escape. I'm sure if there was, he would have done it. We know from his reaction he didn't want to die, but there was no alternative. He couldn't leave the island because, well, crossing the waters would wipe him from existence. And opening up a rift wasn't an option because his blood was needed to do that. Or actually, I've just thought, we saw in the Revelations ending cutscene, Dr. Monty has the power to wipe our characters from existence, or at least it seemed to be that way. He could have been tricking us, but Primus did begin to fade away before he changed his mind and sent them back to the Great War to continue the endless cycle. But if it's Dr. Monty who has the power to wipe Primus from existence, then could Richtofen be talking about him? If Primus were to leave Alcatraz, Dr. Monty would know what they were up to and would get rid of them because remember Primus were supposed to travel to Alcatraz but they were only supposed to be here for a few minutes and then leave and even though they were here for a few hours well, we don't know the specific time but Dr Monty still didn't catch on to what they were trying to do he still didn't catch on to the fact that they were trying to break the cycle until Alpha Omega so perhaps he's talking about it in that way if Primus were to leave the island Dr Monty would know he would know something suspicious is going on and wipe them from existence. We don't know. William Rodriguez says, hey BOA, why don't the zombies eat the big guy in Buried? Now, whilst we don't have an official answer as to why the zombies don't eat Arthur, yes, that is his official name. I know a lot of people still don't know, but that's his actual name given to him by Treyarch. Before that, before we knew his real name, we all just called him Leroy. From time to time, I still call him that. But giving you my answer as to why the zombies don't eat him is because they aren't told to. We know during Buried, the zombies are controlled by Richtofen. They are told what to do, where to go, and who to kill. And so I can only put it down to the fact that Richtofen doesn't tell the zombies to kill him. I mean, why would he? It'd be a little bit of a waste of time. And also, Richtofen never wanted to kill Victus anyway. They were a part of his plan. The only reason he was sending the zombies after them was to make them believe that he was their only savior. That if they didn't listen to him, the zombies would devour them. Richtofen could have easily told the zombies to stop attacking Victus, but he was never going to do that, because if he did, Victus would have no reason to listen to him. And so he sent the zombies after them, and that's the reason why they don't kill Arthur, is because Richtofen doesn't tell the undead to kill him. You could then say, well, why doesn't Richtofen tell the zombies to kill Arthur? And that's because we know Arthur helps Victus, and without his help, Victus wouldn't be able to achieve their goal in Buried, which in turn helps Richtofen. I know it's quite confusing, but basically they don't kill Leroy because they aren't told to. I guess if they had no controller and they were just rabid, they were just going around on their own, they would kill him. I don't think there's any kind of secret behind it like is Arthur secretly a zombie? We know he originally comes from the 1300s where he helped in the Great War. He was the Wolf King's servant and then was unfortunately teleported to Resolution 1295 where he got locked in this cell in Angola. We actually don't quite know how he became locked in here. Did he do it himself or was he imprisoned? I would assume he locked himself inside of the cell just because whenever you shoot him in game, he runs back in there. That is unless he's been locked in there so long. That's the only place he knows that is safe for him. I don't know, he's kind of a strange character, but to answer your question as to why the zombies don't kill him, I would say it's because they aren't told to. The zombies, at the end of the day, 
do what they were instructed. And so guys, there we go. That is it. That is all I have for you for today's video. As always, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Drop a like, rating. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's just really helps me out. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest content on the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Leave your questions down below. And until then, goodbye.